I'm about to do what my high school career counselor never expected. I'm becoming a stripper. In previous episodes, we introduced our Cessna 150, being retrofitted with advanced autopilot for pilots takeoff and landing. We've removed the interior, and next, we'll strip the exterior paint. So let's get started. To start, we're gonna give the aircraft a good wash to remove the oil and grease from the paint surface. This will ensure we have good contact with paint when applying the stripping chemicals. Today, we'll be using Soko Strip A0103N. It's a gel type stripper that was highly recommended to me and used by professionals. To protect the hanging or concrete slab from getting stained, I'm laying down some heavy duty polyfilm I purchased at Home Depot. The chemicals we're using today have relatively minor health and environmental risk compared to the past paint strippers. However, they will eat rubber and acrylic. To protect the windows, I'm taping the perimeter with aluminum foil tape and making sure the edges are firmly pressed. The aluminum foil creates a barrier for the chemicals and provides a surface to duct tape the aluminum foil to the window. Once complete, I was advised to bring the plane out into the light or use a buddy with a flashlight to double check there are no holes in the foil or areas that haven't been covered. Patch up anything that you missed. Patience and attention to details at this stage will save you thousands of dollars in windshield replacement costs. A 5 gallon pail is the smallest quantity I could purchase Soko Strip in. I was told that that would be enough to strip a 150. However, that will depend on how many layers of paint are on your aircraft. I found that one application of Soko Strip is good for removing one coat of paint. Using a 3 inch brush in a small bucket, I'm applying the Soko Strip to the paint. I didn't have a strategy to the process, but figured the top of the plane was a good place to start. What works best is even thick coats. After about 30 minutes, the paint will crack and raise off the surface. Some areas didn't crack, but a quick reapplication was enough to finish the job. After applying one coat to the tail, I'm about an hour into the process and the paint is soft enough to remove. I'm using a large plastic scraper to easily remove the paint. There are a few spots where the paint didn't come off, so I decided to use a brush to reapply a second coat while the paint is still soft. I found that this strategy worked pretty well, other than making the floor very slippery. In preparation for this project, I bought one of those airless paint sprayers. At first, I didn't use it because Soko Strip was a lot thicker than I anticipated, and I was told that it wouldn't work with the sprayer. But a funny thing happens when you're working late and you've been working for a while. I had less f**ks to give, and so I used the sprayer. I really wish I had done this sooner. The next day, I was greeted with a scene from a Salvador Dali painting. Everything had almost melted off. From here, the next steps were pretty straightforward. I removed as much paint as possible with the plastic scraper, and the rest had to be washed with soap and water. I'm using a mild scotch bite pad to scrub the surface of the aluminum and remove stubborn pieces of paint. I tried using a power washer, but it had mixed results. It did a great job at removing the remaining Soko strip, but it was not strong enough to remove paint that hadn't been softened, and the soft pieces of paint that it did remove would often get blown onto the surface of the plane that I had already cleaned. After that, I reapplied a second coat of stripper to the underside of the wing, spot treated a few locations, and gave the plane a second wash. It will need more work to in preparation for paint, but at this stage, it's good enough for us to start making the modifications we need to the airframe and start installing our autopilot. So here are my final thoughts on stripping the paint from an airplane. An airless paint sprayer is worth the money and will save you a lot of time if you use it from the beginning of the project. Not all planes require the same effort. The quality of the previous paint job will determine how much effort you'll be needing. It's a lot more work if you have multiple coats of paint. The underside of our wing had a second coat that gummed up and was very hard to remove. That same coat was also on the underside of the flaps. To make the stripper more reactive, I was recommended to apply the stripper then cover it with plastic to prevent the stripper from drying and allowing it to soften the paint for longer. Use a power washer with caution and avoid spraying anywhere near where the wing attaches to the fuselage. During the washing process, I accidentally sprayed the wrong direction and threw a bunch of pieces of paint soaked in Soko Strip onto the inside of the cabin and onto the windshield. I'm going to try to buff it out, but it may need replacing. And lastly, take the time to remove the control surfaces. It's a lot easier to remove the paint and you'll end up with a better result when you go into the paint booth. Subscribe if you want to see our next episode where we'll use a laser scanner to make a model of the plane.